Hey gardeners, I'm back. Wanted to give you another update about some different changes that I've made. You can see in this room behind me that it is a very large room and it is a very warm room. It's a west facing window wall and the gardens are way down there on the end. And uh, both systems. And this room in the summertime can get quite warm because we really don't want to try to heat and cool it because no one lives out here. It's kind of a sunroom. So I was finding that my temperatures were getting a little too warm. So here's what I did. I made a cooler using the air conditioner ductwork system. And you can see that it works quite well. You'll be able to see that it works quite well. But the only caveat is you're going to have to have ductwork in your floor. We have crawl space, so all of our ducts come out of our floor. Let me show you what I mean. Here you can see on the other side of the room, I've got the ductwork that's coming up out of the floor right there. So if you go with me to the other side of the room, back over here where the gardens are, on the garden that is on your right, the duct is actually up underneath there, down under here. And I have both systems set on the wooden Harbor Freight carts that you get from Harbor Freight. You can see the duct work down there. Now I have mounted all of my wiring plugs and, and TP Link, um, Casa timers that are Wi Fi based for my fans all up underneath there. So you can see all the wiring there. But there is the register right there up underneath that tank of the system on the right. But what I've done is I've created an airflow system. You see the white boards that the two tanks are sitting on? This one here is completely closed and it is U-shaped on the inside. And this one has an opening. And this one on this side, you see it's all closed in. This one has an opening and if I put my hand right there, the air, the air is now on and it is blowing cool air out here. So what's happening is, is that the air is coming in from this register, going up into this system, blowing across and down through this system. Let me take it apart and I'll show you what it looks like. On the carts, where the hand holes are, you got the one hand hole there, but I cut a bigger hole next to it to catch the air coming out of the register. The tank sits on this area here, blows up through that hole. That blocks the space. That's a piece of cutting board, plastic cheap cutting board that the tanks sit on. And it goes through there and it comes out. That one, that handhold is taped over. And then it creates a ductwork channel for the cold air to blow underneath both tanks. And it effectively keeps the tanks cooler in the summer. The whole setup kind of looks like this. So what that does for me is that allows me to keep those tanks a little bit cooler in this room. They were getting almost 80 degrees and it was only March. Uh, and by adding those, I was able to keep the tanks at 73 degrees rather than between 76 and 80 degrees. So about a three to four degree drop just by doing that. The air doesn't have to run all the time and it seems to work really well dropping the temperature about three to four degrees. And it seems to work really well. The gardens seem to like it really, really well. Um, but to be able to do this, you have to have you have to have ductwork in the floor uh, so that the air can come up from the floor and blow across across both units. So there you have it, my garden coolers that keep the tanks cooler in the summer and the warmer months, and it seems to work really well. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody. Maybe it helps you figure out or come up with a new idea on how to do your gardens. And uh, if you like this channel, hit subscribe, and I'll be posting more videos later.